Proteins are macromolecules made of amino acid subunits. The sequence of amino acids determines a protein's three-dimensional structure, and the protein's structure determines its function. Protein structure can be divided into four main levels. The primary structure of a protein is its unique sequence of amino acids, which are linked by peptide bonds. Peptide conformation is defined by dihedral angles, known as phi and psi, reflecting rotation about the repeating bonds in the peptide backbone. The peptide bonds illustrated in green has some double bond character due to resonance, making it rigid and planar. Secondary structure results from interactions between repeating constituents of the polypeptide backbone. With the oxygen from the carbonyl group, hydrogen bonding with the hydrogen of amino group. There are three main types of secondary structure. In an alpha helix, the polypeptide backbone tightly wraps around an imaginary axis longitudinally through the middle of the helix, with the R groups of the amino acid residues protruding outward from the helical backbone. The structure is stabilized by a hydrogen bond between the backbones of an amino acid and the fourth amino acid on the amino terminal side of that amino acid. Alpha helix are mostly right-handed. Alpha helix can be disturbed by proline and lysine residues. In proline, the nitrogen atom is part of a rigid ring, limiting rotation about the side dihedral angle, introducing a kink that destabilizes alpha helix. On the other hand, glycine has more conformational flexibility than other amino acid residues. Therefore, it disturbs alpha helix by random coiling. In beta sheets, the backbone of the polypeptide chain is extended in a zigzag rather than helical structure, arranging in several segments side by side. The adjacent polypeptide chains in the beta sheet can be either parallel, which means having the same amino to carboxyl orientations, or antiparallel, which means having opposite amino to carboxyl orientations. The antiparallel beta sheet is more stable because the interstrand hydrogen bonds are essentially in line. Beta sheets favor bulky amino acids, such as branching amino acids and aromatic amino acids. Beta turns are four amino acids that connect the ends of two adjacent segments of an antiparallel beta sheet, with the carbonyl oxygen of the first residue forming a hydrogen bond with the amino hydrogen of the fourth. Type 1 beta turn usually has proline as the second residue, whereas type 2 beta turn usually has glycine as the third residue. While disturbing the structure of alpha helix, proline and glycine are fundamental to the sharp 90-degree terms in beta turns. A motif fold or supersecondary structure refers to a recognizable folding pattern involving two or more elements of secondary structure and the connections between them. Examples include beta-alpha-beta beta loop, beta-barrel, alpha-beta barrel, twisted beta sheets, and some DNA binding motifs and protein binding motifs. Helix turned helix is a DNA binding motif found in lac repressor. Zinc finger is another DNA binding motif, which contains multiple finger-like protrusions stabilized by one or more zinc ions. The cysteine 2 cysteine 2 like fold group is found in steroid receptor. Losing zipper and basic helix loop helix are protein binding motifs that function in dimerization of transcription factors. A domain is a part of polypeptide chain that is independently stable or could undergo movements as a single entity with respect to the entire protein. Different domains often have different functions, such as binding of small molecules or interaction with other proteins. A protein's tertiary structure is determined by interactions between R groups including disulfide bonds, ionic bonds, hydrogen bonds, metallic bonds, and hydrophobic interactions. All proteins have tertiary structure. However, not all proteins have quaternary structure, which occurs when two or more polypeptide monomers or subunits interact and form one macromolecule or oligomer. Proteins with quaternary structures include hemoglobin, the oxygen-carrying protein in our blood, Collagen, the most abundant structural protein in our body, and DNA polymerase, which functions in DNA replication. As many as a third of all human proteins have significant unstructured regions, known as intrinsically disordered proteins, which are characterized by high densities of charged amino acid residues, such as lysine, arginine, and glutamate, as well as proline residues. Protein stability can be defined as the tendency to maintain a native conformation which means their functional folded conformations.
protein structure is mainly stabilized by hydrophobic interactions. When water surrounds a hydrophobic molecule, the optimal arrangement of hydrogen bonds results in a highly structured shell, known as the sulfation layer of water molecule, which results in an unfavorable decrease in entropy of the water. However, when hydrophobic groups cluster together, sulfation layer decreases and water entropy increases. Therefore, hydrophobic amino acid side chains tend to cluster in the protein's interior far away from water, and hydrophilic amino acid residues tend to arrange on the surface of a protein molecule. Proteins can be classified into two major groups. Globular proteins have polypeptide chains folded into a spherical or globular shape, whereas fibrous proteins have polypeptide chains arranged in long strands or sheets. Example of globular protein includes myoglobin, which is a component of muscle fiber, consisting of 70% alpha helices and 30% beta sheets and beta turns. Cytochrome C is another globular protein that is part of the respiratory chain of mitochondria that consists of 40% alpha helices and 60% beta sheets and beta turns. Lysozyme is a hydrolytic enzyme found in tears, which also contains 40% alpha helices and 60% beta sheets and beta turns. Ribonucleus is an enzyme that digests nucleotides that are secreted by pancreas, which consists of 26% alpha helices and 74% beta sheets and beta turns. Examples of fibrous proteins include collagen, which is a connective tissue found in tendons, cartilage, organic matrix of bone, and the cornea of eye. It consists of three repeating amino acid residues, the first being glycine, the second being proline, and the third being hydroxylysine or hydroxyproline. The collagen helix is left-handed and has about three amino acid residues per turn, and the left-handed helix themselves form right-handed super triple helix. Alpha keratin is a type of fibrous protein that is the major constituent of our hair. They are rich in hydrophobic amino acids and are arranged in right-handed alpha helix, which forms into left-handed super twist. Fibroing, the protein of silk, is produced by insects and spiders. It is rich in small amino acids, including glycine, alanine, and serine, and its polypeptide chains are predominantly beta sheets. Lastly, elastin is a key protein of the extracellular matrix which allows many tissues in the body to resume their shape after stretching or contracting. It consists of lysine crosslinked by thymosine and lysiner leucine. Many proteins require additional molecules to assist proper folding. Molecular chaperones are proteins that interact with partially folded or improperly folded polypeptides, facilitating correct folding pathways or providing microenvironments in which folding can occur. Major chaperones include heat shock protein 70 or HSP70, which is a foldage that protects regions of unfolded polypeptides that are rich in hydrophobic residues, blocking the folding of certain proteins that must remain unfolded until they've been translocated across membrane. HSP70 requires ATP. Heat shock protein 40 is a holdase that doesn't require ATP and assists heat shock protein 70 in folding a polypeptide chain to form a ternary structure. Proteins can also be unfolded by heat shock protein 100, which requires ATP molecule. In addition to chaperones, chaperonins are elaborate protein complexes that are required for folding of some cellular proteins that do not fold spontaneously. In eukaryotes, chaperonin consists of heat shock protein 60 and heat shock protein 10, whereas in bacteria, chaperonins consist of GROEL and GROES. Finally, the folding pathway of some proteins require two enzymes that catalyze isomerization reactions. Protein disulfide isomerase, or PDI, catalyzes the interchange or shuffling of disulfide bonds until the bonds of native conformation are formed. Peptide proleosis trans isomerase, or PPI, catalyzes the interconversion of the cis trans isomers of proline residue peptide bonds, which can be a slow step in the folding of proteins that contain some proline peptide bonds in the cis conformation. The loss of proteins' native structure is referred to as denaturation, which can be induced by denaturants. Denaturants that irreversibly cleave disulfide bonds include Reduction by dithiothreatol, known as DTT, or beta mercaptal ethanol, known as BME, followed by carboxymethylation by iodoacetate. 
irreversible cleavage of disulfide bonds can also be done by oxidation of existing residue with performic acid. Hydrogen bond and hydrophobic interactions may be disturbed by urea chaotropic compounds such as guanidinium chloride. Changing the solution's pH can affect hydrogen bond and electrostatic interactions. And all non-covalent interactions can be disturbed by SDS or sodium dodecyl sulfate, as well as high temperature. Conjugated proteins contain chemical groups other than amino acids, including lipoproteins such as low-density lipoprotein, which transports lipids from liver to peripheral tissues, and high-density lipoprotein, which transfers lipids from tissues to liver. Glycoproteins contain sugar groups. Examples include immunoglobulin, also known as antibodies. Phosphoproteins contain phosphate groups, such as casein found in milk. Hemoproteins contain heme groups, which consist of perforating ring with an iron ion, which serves as oxygen carrier, including hemoglobin, myoglobin, and cytochrome C. Flavoproteins contain flavin nucleotides, FAD or FMN, including complex 1 and 2 of electron transport chain located in the inner membrane of mitochondria. Lastly, metalloproteins consist of metal groups, including calmodulin, which binds calcium ions.